Welcome to the channel, everybody. We are back outside, back at it. Hopefully, it doesn't rain today. Uh, I got a lot of work I want to get done. Let me just turn you around and show you what we're going to do today. I'm going to focus on finishing this side of the building. Uh, when I say finish, I mean trim, paint, the eave belt, whatever I can get done. Get all that Tyvek trimmed away, make it look pretty. Uh, put some framing around that air conditioner. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was going to be permanent, but I've made it permanent. So if I can get through that, that should should get through most of the day. Uh, and then I have to come over here probably tomorrow, get in there and weed eat. I'm probably going to take this fence and go straight out of here to the corner because this will be finished. Maybe come back a few inches. This side will be finished. I won't have to mess with it. That way I can access, and I'm going to do the same thing on that side. That way I can access the uh, front and the other side of the building. Now, the reason I have that little section there fenced off where I need to get in there, I wanted to be the first first thing today. I wanted to weed eat that, but it's just too wet. And But that's where all the electrical is. Even though it's buried in conduit, these little rascals are diggers. I just don't want them in there, so... I'm going to probably just go straight to the edge of the cabin with the fence and leave that part open. And I don't want them getting in that little cubby hole in there. I can't show you right now, but you'll see it. All right, man. Let's get rocking. Feeling good. I think I can get a lot done today. Let's see. He's an old hippie and he knows just what to do. Then he went to go. I got to let the loop. Or is this water or my ladder wet? I can't find a razor knife anywhere. Stop itching. all right i have been filling these gaps this was a big hole in the uh a knot in the t111 it looked terrible so i'm gonna show you a little trick with that spray foam you know and, and the way this foundation was it was all uneven not level so a lot of these pieces of t111 had to kind of go cockeyed so when you put the next one up then you'd have a hump on the concrete and you'd have to put it and some of them have gaps so I just take that spray foam, I take one of these multi-tools. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one. And I'm just gonna go. That'll paint over. It'll still look rough like the T111. And I'm gonna go around the rest of this, get this prepped. If you use that spray foam, you better have plans for the entire can because you go back to use it, it's all clogged up. You got even if you put a new tip on it from another can, still can't get it to work. So I've just kind of went nuts with it. But it's good stuff, man. It's you know, I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but if I have to put it somewhere, I'll dig in a little deeper and then I'll cover it with uh, caulking. 
But I can already see that this T111 is taking on some damage from not being painted. And uh, hopefully painting it is going to keep it from getting any worse. this with sandpaper uh, honestly this is not my best build <laughs> if you'll go back to the beginning it, it got hot so fast and when it heats up like that man your work quality suffers and the idea was to get these dogs in there in air conditioning and I'm glad I did because it did get hot I don't know how they'd have fared without it uh, it would have been very hard on them so I kind of slapped it up in a hurry and I wish you know but I mean it's it's solid it may not be as pretty as I wanted it but it's still a storage building laundry room dog apartment but I still want it to look nice so let's see how nicely we can do the finish work on it uh, hide some of the imperfections you can see that foam did a pretty good job of filling those gaps up there uh, that's a little squirrely that one two by six up there so i don't know how i'm gonna trim with that in place we'll just we'll just see you let me use my noggin we'll figure it out but yeah if i could go back i mean i had to get them in there so i mean there was no waiting until the fall and even in fall we get monsoons all the time you know so let's we'll see how we can make it look man that's all i can say guys bear with me I got the dogs air conditioner on uh, I'm gonna show you oh. <coughs> if I said before I used to like sneezing now I don't it hurts but anyway when you buy those paint rollers with the pan all the whole kit it's got a paintbrush you get these cheap I got this on because it's got paint you get these cheap roller brushes or rollers and then they after a while they just break and they just spin around you cannot get it to work right and the roller wants to slip off as you're painting so I found this dude listen to this as I slip this on it locks it into place that ain't coming off and this dude is strong and it's got the economical grip you know it's good on your wrist the economical kind they say all right, let's get painting, man. I got one battery. That's it. So I'm gonna try to conserve, take small shots. Might do one time lapse of painting. But uh, my other battery died. That's all I got. I got to order some more GoPro batteries. So let's get busy. Left the big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way I was working on the ground come a sun up to sundown 
Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town Hard as I try, maybe I just can't I ain't no up and kind of leaving me She kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, working three jobs, living out of a car Mama never told me life would get this hard Running around the world playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star yeah, no, no, no. Oh man, I take back what I said about this one Right away it broke right here I paid 14 bucks for this roller They had a more expensive one, but I bet this was still plastic man There's just things plastic do not work for just aggravating today the cheapness of our products man I've said it in many videos but it's aggravating because it ain't cheap to buy it and yet here I am look at that this ain't cheap all right let's get back to it what, you guys don't like my singing? Oh, Ellie's running in. I am the best singer in the world, Waldo. You're lying. Three times on the ceiling if you want me. Twice on the pipe. You want painted, Waldo? You want your face what more white? All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take a break, charge this GoPro up a little bit, and order a new battery while I'm in there. But check it out. I think it looks coming out pretty good. Look how it covered up a lot of those imperfections where I put the spray foam. And then once it's trimmed, you ain't going to see it. So that's two coats. That stuff's not fun to paint. You got to get in all them little grooves and uh, that piece where the two two top pieces meet up there there's gonna be a piece of trim across that I got a design in my head and that's a scary thought there's Waldo so we're gonna go in I'm gonna take uh, take this thing put it on the charger for a while still pretty good I'm about 40% but it ain't gonna I, this is gonna be a long video because I'm probably gonna try to get to the end I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna try to get to the end where I do all the trimming all right we got to get this side done so tomorrow when I come out, I can start moving fence because I need that fence to come out and attach to the outside of the dog apartment. Uh, and then, then we can, I've got, that took a half a gallon to paint that. So I figure the same for the other side and uh, the front. I've got another gallon left. Uh, that should be just about the right amount. I'm gonna dry fit the trim, take it up there. Then I'm gonna paint it black before I even attach it. So let me, uh, let me go rest up, put another shirt on. I'll be back. All right, GoPro is fully charged. Uh, had me something to eat. We're ready to start throwing up some trim. Let's make this look good. At least I'm gonna try to get it done. I'm not gonna promise I am. I uh, gave the paint plenty of time to dry. I like it, but I'm gonna like it more when it's trimmed. I got a few ideas. Let's just start at the bottom and work our way up, man. That's all we can do. Well, 
like they won't forget Baby, but the Lord knows what time it is Hard as I try, maybe I just can't I ain't no up and kind of leaving me She kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky tonk star Well, working three jobs, living out of the car Mama never told me life would get this hard Run around the world playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star I'm a honky-tonk star Lord, I'm a honky-tonk star Alright guys, I got the one side painted I'm gonna leave the back side non-painted That's going against the building because this is fairly green lumber and I want that any moisture to go out the back uh, one thing that has changed in the last several years it used to be if you wanted the best quality stuff you'd go to your local mom and pop hardware store and there it was well it's the opposite of that today uh, and it ain't their fault all the big box stores they get all the big contracts the best stuff where the they're, they're stuck getting the junk and that's exactly what it's low quality wood and you, you know you just got to make it work or you go to you know for me it's a 120 mile round trip to go get better grade lumber so I'm just you know trying to stay local when I can but it's aggravating and you know you're better off if you can go buy a bulk but it goes the same in any store in your small towns. They're just not, you know, they're not appealing to the supply chain like the big box stores do. So it's like anything in this world, you know, it's all about money. And you got the most money, you get the best stuff. So we're going to make this work. I'll let this dry a bit. I'll paint the other two sides and then we'll start. I'll probably paint a few more. We'll start cutting it, fitting it, putting it up. All right, here's what I got so far. Got one piece across the bottom. Yes, there's gonna have to be another piece there. Uh, got that level. Got the piece going vertical. I've cut a small piece to go across there. And then it's gonna continue up. And I painted that top one, but I ain't sure that's how, if, how that's gonna match up. If it does, I'll leave it. I may try to put a small piece underneath, see how that looks, but I think once I paint the you know get it trimmed in there with the tan paint it should look okay uh, man but look here as usual I got thunder clouds moving in but I don't think it's gonna do anything but we'll see how far we can get uh, it, the time-consuming part is just painting but it, it's drying pretty quick so we'll see how far we go I know I'm gonna at least get the face of this framed I hope you know just see what the weather does I also put in the board on top here where there used to be a gap now that matches up blends in with the posts that's the look I was going for so that looks good and that piece up there was already there and it comes it matches up but as you can see it's too short so I'm gonna piece that in paint it and that's going to be fine for there and then of course there'll be a piece across the bottom I probably won't put one there I don't think it needs it we'll see and uh, the reason I haven't started up there I, I want to get all that painted but the wasp came back I cannot get in a good place to spray them until I get those weeds cut on the other side over there and get up in that little cubby hole because if I can get up in there I can just reach right up there and spray otherwise I'm gonna waste a can of spray not knowing what I'm gonna do. So, all right, while that little piece is drying, I'm gonna frame out this air conditioner here. That ought to make that look a whole lot better. We'll be back. Do -do -do. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Thought he was supposed to show up. Yes, not.
stick is that thing? Did y'all get that on camera? I don't know what that was, but he's feeding off the, uh, man. Let's go see if we can find that guy. I don't know what he is. Look how big he is. Scared of bug. I guess that was Beetlejuice, man. It does work. Because I ain't never seen a bug like that. Oh. Well, I'm not going to do that again. Right. Should have three inches on each side. Yep. Yep. I ain't never doing the Beetlejuice again. Man, y'all seen it. Came right at me. It was going to kill me. Two in the side, we're groovy. As we're gonna call today, show you what I got so far. Uh, that's that afternoon sun starting to bead right down on me, and I'm making bad decisions, like saying Beetlejuice. That monster bug come out. See, that stuff works, man. Don't play with it. All right, that's what we got. Let me see if I can get up here further without Beetlejuice getting me. Didn't get too much further. But I uh, got that sloppily framed around the air conditioner. Now, my, I don't want things to look perfect. I want them to look barn woody ish, you know. And that's what this is going to be. <laughs> so I got the little piece on top there. And then there's going to be another 2x4. It'll go right in with that one. And I think we're going to be good leaving that alone once I touch up the tan along the bottom. One piece down, one over. Cha chong, cha chong. And maybe one up the middle there. I think that might look good doing it that way. So, uh, I should have plenty of 2 by 4 I still got one of those left. Uh, it usually clouds up and rains for a little bit about this time of day, but I don't know. If it blows in so fast, you don't know. But I, that ain't why I'm stopping. It's just getting hot. It's not real bad. But uh, I've been out here for several hours. And then I went in and edited for an hour, so... Hey man, I got more done than I have in a while. So I appreciate y'all watching. If you hang with me, we'll get this thing done. Get it nice looking. I uh, got a lot of things done today that I've been wanting to get done. Uh, you know, painting. But I did a lot of caulking uh, in between. A lot of different things. Uh, I wish I had some flashing to put down there, but I don't. Uh, every time I go into my local hardware store, uh, they'll have two on the shelf. That's it. And I buy them. And I need, I've got four and I need about two more to, when I start doing the deck. So I'm not going to do nothing there. Uh, I just, I'm going to caulk it real good. It'll be fine. There's going to be rock here on the bottom. That's all going to be lined with this rock. So it's going to drain real good. Uh, you know, I'm just keeping, hey, I'm turning into an old man. I'm, I'm going to need things to do in the future. Those will be maintenance kind of things. So. All right, we're going to get off here, get tools put up, and tomorrow, I don't think I'll be back on the project tomorrow because I got to mow, I got to weed eat, weather, the weather's good, uh, grass growing like weeds now, and I got to get weed eated, but I do want to get that fence moved tomorrow, and if I do that, then we'll put a video out. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, give me a like, give me a like, I don't care. All right, folks, appreciate you. Happy trails.